Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Here's the, the little two-framer that we're trying to get built up through fall into winter, trying to get its numbers built up. And I'm pulling this out and looking at it and doing like an update video on it to see how well it's faring. Okay, right there's our queen. If you remember, just to remind you, this queen right here was the one that was in her cage for three weeks and then released her and she's been doing great ever since but what we've been doing is helping her boost up the colony so she can have a nice strong colony going into fall and winter so what we've been doing is as these cat brood hatch out we'll go into another colony that can afford to, lo to lose some of their cat brood and we've been trading them out. You can, uh, if it shows in the light right there, these cells right here, I think you can see it right there because I can see it real good in the light. These cells right here are absolutely packed full of eggs. Lots and lots of eggs. So she's laying very good. And most of the cat brood on, on this frame's hatched out. We, we started off with probably a half a cup of bees in this colony here. We almost have two full frames of bees now. Well, not quite, but a frame and a half. But that's, that's compared to what there was. There was just equivalent to what's probably on that one frame right there. So, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out into a five frame nuke. I'm going to go into another colony, find another frame of cat brood, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Okay, what I've done, I went into another colony. And if you look close, you'll see where you got cat brood. And in between the cat brood, you got pollen, open larva, eggs. All the way across so the queen at this point is still laying eggs and they're not backfilling with honey that's a good sign when you're trying to build these colonies up going into fall now a lot of times when you get close to it, look at the pollen my goodness gracious lots and lots of pollen on this frame uh, of course the bees did beat the queen to some of these with pollen but a lot of eggs in between so what I'm gonna do uh, and it's still it's still warm out so there's no chance to chill brood and even if there is there's enough bees in here to cover these frames right here so now what we've got I kind of I, here's my, my two framer right here okay we're doing away with the two framer and we're putting in a, a, a five frame nuke right here and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a couple frames, empty frames on each side right here. That'll give them a chance to cover this brood right here. And then what I'll do, I'll shake this box in front of the hive on this side, on the other side. Okay, I come, to, I come around the other side of the hive. You can see the bees when they're returning. I moved the, the two-framer over a little bit and put the, the five frame in its place, but we still need to remove this two framer. So what I'm gonna do, bees are bringing in tons of pollen. You can see it on their legs the, a lot. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drop this, get them knocked down. What I always do, I just tilt it up like this. And see them coming up, look there. They'll come up and they'll march right into the, their new home. All those bees that was in there. Look how many. Look at the, the pretty yellow pollen on them. Hear the roar. There's actually queenless in here, so they went for a little while without a queen. But as they go in, they're, they'll find their queen back in there. So that uh, this is what you want to do if you're trying to build up colonies. 
that you know just can't build up good enough going into fall. Uh, you can feed, feed, feed all you want, but if you have a, a weak colony and then you have other colonies, now you do got to sacrifice and take from them, but you're going to have to split them anyway. If you got some that's overly strong, even like right now, you're still going to have to make splits in order for them not to actually swarm because they can still swarm if you get them overcrowded. It gets more and more unlikely as you get into the fall, but it can happen because they're still building up. As I showed you on that frame right there, they're still not, the, they're still not backfilling with honey as they will here in a few more weeks. As she throttles down and quits laying, those bees will start storing honey in those cells. But right now, she's still laying. So all these colonies are building up. I can see it in the, just walking by the bee yard, looking across and seeing how many's flying. You can tell that the production of the, the bees is going up. We're in that goldenrod flow. Even though it's dry, uh, they're still bringing in a lot of resources. The uh, goldenrod is pretty durable. It can go through a lot of drought, different varieties can. So it's, it's doing really, really good this year, regardless of the, the rain. So, that's what we got going on right here. So what we're, what we're doing, that's what you have to do if you want to build up those weaker colonies, go into your stronger ones, and you don't have to do it all at one time. You know, as you've seen here, I've done this over a three-week period, just slowly so I could just show you how to, how to do this. And we started off with probably about a half a cup of bees in this hive. That was a two-framer. And the, that was, like I said, that was a queen that was in a cage for three weeks. She'd come out, she started laying a little bit, because when you have them caged that long, yeah, they're going to be slow at first because their ovaries are pretty much shut down. Um, so they got to relearn how to how to lay again. So as she started laying good, and you want you want to boost up her production, so you add more bees to her colony. She sees that, and she'll actually start laying because now there's more bees in there that can take care of her brood and their eggs that she's laying. So it's always good, I try to always tell people this, if you get into beekeeping, get it out of your head about wanting one hive, because I'm telling you, you're setting yourself up for a huge disappointment. Uh, if, you want, if you want one hive for, for honey production, grow you two or three. If you want 10, grow you 15 or 20. They all don't have to be big, giant hives. I mean, I'm not talking about if you wanna grow uh, 10 frame with uh, four or five supers on each one you don't have to do that but if you want to grow five honey producers along with that grow you five nukes that way you always have backup you have to have a backup plan when it comes to bees in this day and age it's not like it used to be it used to be people would uh they wouldn't even go out and check their bees but once or twice a year when they pulled honey or added supers and that was it you do that now, you won't have bees. And what, the way you got to play it now, you got to play with numbers. You got to have, you got to keep more than what you have, th than what you want. Uh, you can keep several of these nukes. I mean, you can see how close these nukes are right here. I mean, within an eight foot span, you can keep uh, five or six nukes, so they don't take up that much space. And they're always here for backup. You can always, when you need a frame of bees or a uh, an extra queen, and I, I recommend too that people keep them a few two framers. It's it's a it's a good idea. Raise your own queens. Uh, you should be self sustainable in your own bee yard, and uh, you shouldn't really have to buy queens all the time, or buy packages all the time. You should be self sustained to grow your own stuff. That's if you want to get into beekeeping, you got to have that mindset to do that. So. That's what kind of why I'm demonstrating this right here is to show when you have several bees in the yard, you can take something that's nothing and turn it into something big. This right here, and I'll show you here in a few weeks, this will be a packed out, thriving hive. And be honest, I've not even fed this hive. I've not fed it at all, but we will start feeding it. I just wanted to see during the nectar flow just how good it's going to do on its own. And it's doing really good. Of course, I'm adding bees to it, but that's how you got to do if you want to build you up a, a weak colony.
so that's about it uh, uh don't forget um november 23rd we are going to have another coffee bee chat but along with that we're having our christmas sale equivalent to what you hear of black friday this will be the saturday before thanksgiving november 23rd so we're going to have it before the black friday so this this will be the saturday before so uh, we're gonna have a lot of stuff on sale if you if you want to save some money on bee equipment uh, come see us or check us out online we'll have it both places if you can't make it to the store you can come to barnyardbees.com and check out all the stuff we'll have online and we'll have a lot of sales there as well and you'll be impressed by the prices so don't forget please help us spread this word out uh, share it with everybody that you can please so we can, I mean, we're trying to help the new beekeeper out and trying to save you some money. So we're going to uh, really have our stuff marked down cheap. It's going to be very impressive prices. And that's about it. Don't forget, folks, uh, click on the little bell. Help us share our videos. Like and subscribe. And we'll keep uh, checking on this hive again in a week. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.